Hello everyone, my name is John Malisundra and today I'm going to teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today, I'm going to teach you uh, just a simple landscape everyone, but I'm going to make it uh, as realistic as possible. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed it and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notifications of my new videos and tutorials. Okay, you can see all the materials needed on the screen. You can see there are the five limited colors, the brushes that you're going to need and all the things that we're gonna need to paint this painting okay so i'm going to start now and i'm gonna do a little sketching first i have here the number two nylon fat brush i have the raw umber then let's try to i'm gonna put here the horizon it's uh, below the bottom everyone Then here, I'm gonna put a little uh, bit of farm on the distance. Okay. And then I'm gonna create a big mountains here. It's a mountain area, something like that. Uh, I'll just show a little bit of the, I don't know, maybe I will not show you the sky. So here, it will be a mountain area. here and then here I will try to put one huge tree something like that or maybe I will do like that here something like this and then here also I will try to put some forest one huge tree here one and then here will be like a shade something like that and a little bit of water maybe in the distance a little bit of river so i'll just paint simple things today everyone that you can practice and uh you can, you can also create your own okay so let's start now i have here the blue and a little bit of raw umber and then white I think I'm gonna put some red to make some purples and the umber. There you go. So I uh, will uh, fill everything first with the underpainting. And then I'm gonna put some white. It's just a light color here. Uh, maybe it's also some mountain here, everyone, but I assume it will be like that. Here's the first step, which is the underpainting. Or we just fill in everything there. The colors, whatever we need as the background. So I have another purple here. Yeah, this time a little bit darker. like to make this part dark everyone uh, I don't want to hit this part with the light so this part will remain dark <laughs> I 
I just want to create light on this painting. Like it was like uh, alive. And then here, I'm gonna make some purple. Here it will be darker. And also here. I'll try some yellow and a little bit of orange for the horizon. A bit of brownish also. I like to see some browns, especially the one on the on the on the ground, something like that. Actually, browns are are really good. This is brown, but also reds and orange. I like that. A little bit of uh, strokes. I just want to make that a little bit of chaotic strokes, I like that. Okay. Okay, so you can do like that everyone. So that uh, the paints will be thicker. I just want to make the paints uh, thicker, everyone. And then, I also do again. A little bit of raw umber here. This time, we can, we can make it a little bit lighter here. So, I, I added a little bit of uh, lighter colors. Okay, there you go. Not just there, everyone, but I also put there on the top. I want to use a little bit of a yellowish color. There. Just uh, make it uh, lighter, that part. Just blend it a little bit. I think it's already dry. I think I'm gonna need to proceed on the step two with this. Or I'm gonna proceed on adding details now. I'm going to proceed on that part only, everyone. On the mountain part only, so yeah, uh, it will be a forest. Not just a mountain, but also a forest. But, but I want to make it uh, bright, everyone, that uh, light is hitting that part. Yeah, it will be great. And also, I will cover some parts because I'm going to put a big tree there on the right side. So, I think it will just cover some parts also. Yeah, I will, I will not make it so good. Or, yeah, something like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to put something like a, a cliff here, something like that. So I will be using uh, number 8 nylon flat brush. It's a medium size flat brush I have. Okay, so let's start. I have here the blue and the yellow. Then white.
air okay so there I'll put some white more white Maybe I will, uh, I will, uh, I will try to brush some, some greenish stone first, and then like that. To create some, some greenish or bluish effect. There. Just uh, blend it every once something like that. Just blend it like that. There, and I will use now a smaller brush, a number uh, three nylon flat brush. I will put a small cliff there. So I have here the umber and then the white. Try to put a little bit of clip also. There, and then let's put some greens. Let's start to put some greens now. So, here, yellow and the blue. It will be a blue green, everyone, and then white. a bit of red there you can make it a circular stroke everyone like uh, it's a forest or or fish these are this is also a forest there forest or some mountains or uh, some some bushes you can you can see in the on the cliff or in this mountain
Okay. About that, I will try to see. Yeah. It looks like that uh, it's been hit by uh, good sunlight, everyone. So that's why it's uh, become brighter, that part. Yeah, it looks good. It looks simple and it looks good. Okay, so I will also put on this area. I'll to make it a little bit of uh, yellowish. Try to make it uh, brighter with more a uh, yellowish tone. Also here. Also add uh, some orange color or so we can make it a little bit brighter. So you can see everyone that is uh, hitting this part. Yeah. I will reserve this part for the 
for the three, so I will not make it good. I'll try this. Uh, create a cliff I'm gonna put some white So you can see now it was being bright in that part there. So it's like a there's a cliff there and it hit by a beautiful amount of light. So you can see now the difference. And now we'll let's uh, add some darks on the next mountain. So I think uh, for now I'm gonna let it uh, that way and I'll proceed to the next mountain everyone. So I think uh, I'll be using a visual flat brush. So you have here the blue, the red, and the umber. I'm gonna add a little bit of white. Red the umber. There. are also trees I think I'm gonna need make it a little bit uh, brighter with some blue now that's too much <laughs> a little bit romber and then blue So there's a tree here. I'll put a tree there. And then let's uh, mix for greens, blue, and then yellow. Just to burn, not so much greens, everyone. Just enough to that you can see a little bit of the trees here. This will be a little bit of bright, uh, dark, I mean dark, sorry. So just tapping technique to create those trees.
As you can see everyone, this part also is a uh, forest. I will add a little bit bright on the top. So light yellow green. That's hitting this part. There, and then a little bit brighter, even here. There you go. So you can see now everyone that this is also another forest. But it's near to us. That's why you can still see uh, those uh, trees. But uh, a little bit blurry or something like, something like a light. But compared to the first um, mountain, it's uh, brighter. Uh, because uh, it's a little bit farther than us. Okay? I hope you understand. Okay. Okay, that's great. So, I will also put another forest. Uh, it's very near to us. Uh, it's uh, next to the darker mountain. So, yeah. Uh, it, will, it will just be a small forest, everyone. Okay. So I have here the other uh, red and the blue and then amber. So I'm gonna put more blue. Okay. So tapping technique. So we can put also trees here. So it's another uh, forest. Now let's uh, add a little bit of colors here, but I think I'm gonna need to, I don't know, uh, I'll try to see in my, yeah, I think um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just uh, add details on that part and then, yeah, I will, I'll try to add more lights there because that's a very important part where, will heat those beautiful lights but first I'm gonna put some darks before adding some lights so I have some orange there I think uh, yellow
So this is a golden field, everyone. So just use the tapping technique and do it like this to create a those cross like effect there and then I will try some light greens and the far uh, this part, uh, part doesn't hit by uh, the light so much, that's why it's still a little bit dark. There. This part will, that part will remain dark. I like it to be that way. But I like to exaggerate the light here. I'm gonna put some white. tapping technique everyone there oh, we can use the pure white it's look like a, a wheat field or something like that so you can see now a great light hitting that part with this uh, I forgot to mention everyone our light source coming from the left of course <laughs> because the light is on that part so our light source coming from the left side which uh, it looks great I like the light there it looks uh, very uh, soft or it looks hard but I like how it looks there Okay. And then let's uh, put some put let's put some uh, uh, details here or some greens. Okay. I'll put first some browns before I'm gonna put some greens or some orange, a little bit of raw umber. Even like that, everyone it looks good. <laughs> a little bit now, a uh, yellow and greens. So let's put some lights here because there's a there's light in the back part. Actually, I like this brush, everyone. It's a bristle flat brush. Number eight. And then it's a, uh, add a little bit darker color, darker greens for this part. Just tapping technique, and don't overdo it. Always remember that. I think I'm gonna need to have more yellow here. to exaggerate the lights on this part there you go yeah 
they're just like that and it looks good we can now see that there's a light on that on the back part of that tree okay so it's simple and it looks good can even put some trees there yeah we can put I'll put some small details of trees there I'll be using this uh, zero liner brush then put some uh, Okay, so it's still wet, sorry. Can also add one branch here. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna proceed. Uh, here and uh, I think uh, I'm gonna put now the tree here, Rowan, because I think I still have you can, you can still see there, yeah. I think you can still see, so I need to put a tree there now. Actually, I'm planning to put a river on the center, so maybe, yeah, in a few minutes I'm gonna try to put there, but I, I like to put this big tree there, it, it will add uh, more uh, beauty on this one. Yeah, I think so. I noticed some houses on the far everyone. I like to put there. It will be good. So yeah, I'm gonna put now the big tree. Here. I think I'm gonna put it here, everyone. Okay. So I have here the number two nylon flat brush or number three. So yeah, here. Okay. Let's put some branches. Okay, so and then I'm gonna put uh, I want it to be brownish everyone so yeah I want uh, but I need to put some yellow there so I have here yellow and the red 
and then I have the amber and then the blue more yellow there So it will be a different kind of tree. Let's put a little bit of orange. So it will be a beautiful tree, everyone. I'm gonna put some yellow. I'm gonna brighten this part. So just topping technique, everyone. Just a mixture of uh, brownish and greens. More yellow there. there so let's continue doing the topic technique everyone there and now let's put some highlights so highlights is uh, it's my favorite just a yellow i think yellow will be great So it looks simple and it looks good. This tree looks simple and good, everyone. I'll add more. More brightness.
And then, I think on the other side, I'm gonna make it not so much dark. Now let's uh, add some highlights. I will add some highlights here, everyone, on the on the body. So yeah, maybe I will use this orange here with some white and the red. There. Sorry about the noise, everyone. If you hear the noise. I cannot control it. it's uh it's afternoon now. I cannot control those noises now because it's an after it's afternoon here. There. And then the other side will be uh, brighter or uh, umber. some darks also sorry about this change so you can hear uh, they are still repairing the damages made by that typhoon I don't know if you can hear this chainsaws there tiny details everyone will, will will make the painting a better or yeah much detail something like that so as you can see it's a bit uh, coming better now okay sorry about those chains everyone if you hear this chainsaw in the background Okay, I think that's good. This tree looks good. Yeah. It looks uh, realistic. I like the tree, everyone. It looks so simple, but it looks good. And it contrasts the background 
it is uh, bluish green something like that okay i will proceed now on the bottom part i'm almost done because this painting i just i just, I just want to make this painting one very very simple that you can follow but you can still learn the concept of lights lights and shadows shadings and everything uh, strokes brush strokes and something like that so the more uh, even if uh, we're painting simple things simple simple objects but you can also learn okay i am planning to put some houses there maybe it will be good okay i like to put a little bit of free work here but it will be just be a little amount of water everyone yeah it will just be a simple river i don't want to sink the part okay Or just a swamp because this is this look like swamp area. Okay, so here I am I will be using blue on the red and the umber. Purple, I'll try a bit of umber. simple strokes and we can create a stream <laughs> very easy Now let's uh, try to put some uh, reflections. So yeah, I'm gonna try to add light to green. A reflection of this, we're gonna put. We're gonna need to put it there. It should be. Much more yellowish. Yeah, I think 
can see what it looks like. You can see now reflections. Uh, we need to add more. It's a brownish one. And then we'll add a little bit of dark bluish purple. Or a little bit of greenish and then white. some some brownish uh, soils or something like that so I'm gonna use this light brown Greenness also. Here. 
put some darker orange And then we can now put some darker greens. Is on the app anywhere? Yeah, maybe also here. There. And now I'm gonna put more uh, greens. I'll put some white. I will I want that part to remain dark because I, I want to slide there that you can see uh, my subject that this is the center part of the painting okay. so yeah maybe I will I'll try to put some houses there also I'm gonna try to put some something that would make it look okay. good uh, maybe a house is there on the center part on the, on the far part Maybe some, uh, some hot or something like that. So, I'll we'll use this light uh, brown.
expect some just random house everywhere. Sort of a uh, smaller uh, village. Okay. I'm gonna make this one brighter. I'll just try to retouch everyone and I will be done. So, I'll try to add lights. So, I'll just use this yellow. See now that it looks far now for the before. Okay, so I'll just try to put some some flowers or something. Like that. I have here the red, a little bit of white. Try to make it uh, bright, everyone. Maybe I'll use white. There. I think that the uh, light is hitting that part. Quickly. Okay. So. Yeah, I think that looks good now. It looks uh, like a far house. House is uh, very, very far from the tree because the tree is so big, you know. It's just a uh, 
I don't speak. Uh, but uh, TW speaking is fine because uh, it's uh, because uh, you can see the elevation of the tree or, or the perspective compared to the house. Yeah, let's assume that the house is very, very far. Okay. So I think I am done, and I hope you are learning. I hope you are happy with the result because I am very, very pleased. Uh, I am happy with the result. It looks good for me. Okay, so I think uh, I will finish this one. Uh, this tutorial is very, very. It's just very easy, uh, simple. The entire concept is very, very simple. Okay, everyone. So I wanna say thank you for watching this video today, and I hope you get something out of this. And my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors of palette because I want you to learn to know how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.